I got a surprise in the mail uh, and I can't wait. So I didn't really plan on doing this video, but I'm gonna do an unboxing and my first uh, playthrough. If what's in this box is what I think it is, it's gonna be freaking awesome because I'm sure by now you've probably heard all about stuff uh, in the gear news. So without further ado, let's just open this up because I can't wait. Well, as you can see, uh, it's from Fender. Whoa, this is a nice case. So I haven't gotten a modern Fender, gosh, probably in, in like 10 or 15 years. So I'm gonna open it up on the ground and surprise you guys. So you'll probably see my reaction uh, before you see the actual instrument. Oh yeah, take in the uh, new case, new guitar smell. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Fender sent me uh, an American Ultra Stratocaster HSS Strat. It's the, the new ones that uh, everyone's been talking about. I am totally stoked to be able to try this out. Made in Corona, California, locking tuners. Uh, it's got this uh, nice neck joint contour that uh, is very sexy. The neck is very modern. It's thin, which I think pairs well because it's an HSS. And it's a great color. This reminds me of my very first Fender, which was blue, blue sparkle. This is dope looking. I'm actually gonna take the plastic off the, the pickups before I play it. They give you a little uh, case for the goodies, which is something that I haven't seen. Get your uh, truss rod adjustment tool. Pack of strings, strap locks. Oh, that's cool. Shaller style uh, strap locks. Pop in trim arm. Shall we play? I think these are nines on here. size of the frets. Um, I'm not sure, but they feel kind of jumbo-ish. I like how the uh, single coils are noiseless. are different than what I felt before. It's almost like there's a rubberized grip on these, so it's not just plastic. Maybe that's something they've been doing. I haven't, uh, like I said, I haven't had a modern uh, Fender in a, in a while. So yeah, this these feel nice. <laughs> third on the G string. Minor third on the E string. Oh, 
things about it, the, um, the contour in the back uh, of the neck joint is really, really comfortable. Not that I play a ton of stuff up high, but when I'm up here, I can definitely feel that it's a little more accessible. Um, the one thing that might turn people off is the neck. For me, this feels probably the thinnest neck that I've ever felt on, uh, at least amongst my Fender strats. Um, which I kind of expected because I was, you know, everyone was saying there's more modern, it was a little more um, thinner, thinner, kind of built for, not necessarily for speed, but for more, you know, licky licks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll go with that, Licky Licks. Uh, I'm impressed with this tremolo, the two-point tremolo. All of my strats are kind of vintage so they all have vintage uh, six-screw tremolos, so this is uh, new for me. What else? The weight, it's right where it should be. It's not too heavy. Yeah, 10 to 14 compound radius fingerboard. I think most of my strats are nine and a half. Uh, at the very flattest. Um, I have obviously some seven and a quarter ones. Very modern. I could probably bring the action down if I wanted to, uh, but I might leave it here. Yeah, very cool. I love the color. I love, uh, this is, uh, this is something that I've wanted for a while. I've been looking for an HSS Strat, so this fits the bill perfectly. You know, if anything, I might change the pickups out to something more uh, vintage that I'm used to. Maybe Lawler's, maybe like a Seymour Duncan uh, 78 in the bridge, which is something that I really, really like. Uh, but we'll see. I'll play around with this for a little bit. I'm enjoying having no hum. <laughs> Thanks for watching this uh, unboxing video. Thanks to Fender for uh, letting me play around with this thing. Thank you so much. This was a, a very nice treat today. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, lessons, gear demos, click subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Woohoo!